Welcome back, my name is Benji, and today I want to welcome you to the third episode of our Pro Cycling Manager 2021 career mode for the Yolo Cometa. I was looking forward to this episode because we've got our first two World Tour races on the menu. First of which, Strada Bianche, and last of which, a monument, Milano San Remo, which I'd like to try and win. Outside of those races, we've got some preparation races for the Giro, like, for example, like Weglia. We've also got Larciano, Trevizzo, and Coppia Bartali on the menu today. I'm not sure I'll fit Sicilia in as well, but I'll give it a try. Our first race of this episode is going to be the Giro di Laigreglia, Wackerman, Fancello and Albanese as leaders, depending on their form. So let's take a look what we can do here. We're moving into the final five kilometers. I survived the final hill. Lutsenko's trying to push so hard. Energy shell on Wackerman. Trying to follow Lutsenko's move here. Hopefully we don't spend too much red doing so, because I do want to have a decent sprint afterwards. I'm scared of Galvan with 73 sprint. Vermeers has 71. Is that another move by Lutsenko? I think it is. Let's try and follow him again. There we go. I don't have the energy to win this anymore. Let's try and follow us, but we're done for. We're done for. Lutsenko killed us. He choked us. We're done for. Oh, man. We're going to get, like, top five, but a real bummer because I thought we'd had it, but we just didn't have enough yellow because Lutsenko kept attacking for the final three kilometers. Johnny Vermeer is one ahead of uh, his teammates, but ugly. Honestly, I was hoping for a bit more there. We got into the group. That was a good group to beat. And we just didn't have the energy because Lutsenko just, yeah, he killed us in the last few kilometers. You know what time it is? Strade Bianche time. This is the variant of the race that is made by the game itself, which means that we don't have these fake cobbles under the sand. So it's less likely to be cobble related, which is probably good for our team because let's be real about our cobble stat. We don't exactly have that. So I'm fine with it being like this for this playthrough. When it comes to the riders that are going to our first World Tour race, it's Wackerman, Albanese, Fetter, Gavalzi, Ravalzi, Sevilla, and Baez. In all honesty, Wackerman's fitness peak is on, so I'm hoping we can do really well. A top 5 in Strada Bianche would be godlike, but very difficult. Okay, that's a great start for Albanese. <laughs> there he goes. Sorry, Vincenzo. Get on your bike again, man. Please don't abandon. Not today. There we go. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger is uh, basically four minutes behind the peloton, so I'm going to pull him out. There's no way I will have Albanese suffer for 170 kilometers at the back of the race, four minutes behind everybody. The break has officially formed. Fraporti, Biscara, Greipel, Fetter, Heis, Fuentes, Savini, Amesqueta, Lonardi, Von Endert. Pretty strong breakaway, I'll say. Could stay away for quite a long time, but in the peloton, Bahrain, Mitchelton, and uh, UAE are taking relative control of the pace and keeping it under three minutes. A good 40 kilometers left and Wackerman's still looking good in the peloton. A bit out position though, but we've got some time to go until we get to the San Piero Sterato. We've already had the Monte Santi Marie, but nothing really happened there except for the peloton getting ripped apart. Fun fact, Albanese is still standing here. He never even abandoned. The car forgot him. <laughs> That's fucking sad. We're closing in towards the next climbs, and we're looking really good for the stage. In all honesty, I do think we have an opportunity for that top five. I'm even starting to dream. We've got attacks on the left happening. That is Van der Poel now. Can I follow that at all cost with Wackerman here? Ooh, they got blocked. That's good for us. Let's go 93, 94, 95. Let's try and hang on. Gavazzi still following. Let's go to 80, 75, 70. Okay. Matthew's trying to go for the attack. He apparently won the Australian champs. Aramburu responding. And there goes Van der Poel again. Try and close that down with Gavazzi this time around. Come on, get to the wheel ASAP. The earlier we close that down, the better. Hopefully on the next Serato here. There we go. And we are back in that group. And they're going to keep on going. I think that's Van der Poel attacking. Got to go 99 with Gavazzi to try and close it down. That's going to be difficult. That's going to be really difficult. 11k to go. Gavazzi and Wackerman. I'm gonna go 95 right now. Gonna see if I can close it down by pacing like a madman right now. Effort cars are 85. We're about to catch up. 15 seconds. Please somebody pace here. I don't want to have to do it alone. Let's try and follow the wheel of Mohoric while Moskos trying to close it down. Come on. Chase like a madman. Chase like a madman. Adam Buru and Van der Poel still have a gap of 13 seconds. We're going into the descent. That is leading towards the finishing climb and i'm very scared about that one moscow's closing it down for us what an engine thank you moscow wackerman is genuinely competing for this race 
Let's see if we can follow Mohoric here because he's going to be in the wheel of the others. Van der Poel as well still here. What should we do? Should I go for the attack? No, I need to get to the wheel of Van der Poel here. Let's try and follow that attack by Van der Poel. There we go. We're not spending our red on this at all. And it's a bit too late, I think. I do want to keep following Van der Poel here because I believe this is a good strategy. Gavazzi is done for. He doesn't need to be in the way right now. Come on, Wackerman. Come on, my man. This is your opportunity. 2.5 kilometers. Two kilometers to go. I'm going to move forward. Come on, Wackerman. You can do it. He's going to go. He's going to go early. He's going to go really early. I cannot follow that, I think. I don't have the acceleration to follow what this man is going to do to me. Let's go. 94, 95 for now. Come on, come on, come on. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. And let's go right now with Wackerman. Ah! Come on, Wackerman! Van der Poel versus Wackerman. It's going to be Van der Poel taking it. We're going to get second in Strade Bianche. What a godlike result for us. Oh my god, Wackerman. You absolute bloody legend. There's no way I could have won that against Van der Poel, but I'm really happy about the result we delivered. Somebody picked this man up. Holy crap, this man's still standing here. Albanese. At this point, he could have just ridden the race. Bloody great result. I think the sponsors are going to be happy. I hope you are happy about our performance because uh, I very much am. We've got one more World Tour race to come this episode, but the first one already did very, very well. Looking at the morale of our team, they're all pretty happy except for Garcia, Belletti and Fraporti. Belletti's complaining about a few races, but the reason he didn't have as many races as other people is because he was injured the first time he had been signed up for a race. So, I don't know, it's your own fault, mate. Don't get injured. We're gonna try and go for another good result in GP Larciano. This looks like it's a tough race, but it's got like 20 kilometers of flat section after the last hill. So, here's what effect that's gonna give towards the split ups at the front. Nonetheless, Wackerman is likely going to be our leader here. Oh my god, the Invisible Man of the Giro 2021. Cepeda's in the breakaway. Well, he just attacked with 70k to go. So not sure it's the wisest decision. I don't think that Amachis and such are going to have too much trouble with what we're doing. But at least the other competition is getting reduced. Seravadzi, try and pass the blue car here. There we go. And Fetter's done for. Seravadzi's done for. Fancelu time right now. And let's put Ravazzi in the wheel of Wakerman, perhaps. There we go. Ah, blocked my own train. Damn it. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Let's keep it pushing for a tiny bit longer. This way, the gaps can open up in the descent here. Let's go towards 85 right now. 20 kilometers to go. Let's not put too much pressure here as well. We are looking good. We're setting up for a sprint. And we're going to try and 1v1 against your boy Michael Matthews. Actually, the man doesn't dare to take us on 1v1 because... He's trying to attack away from us. And I don't know why. It makes no sense. But hey, he can spend his energy all he want. I'm just going to keep myself near the front and have Albanese ride it into the last 1.5 kilometers or something. That's the goal. But um, I'll try and see if I can get into the wheel of matches, perhaps. That would be ideal. There we go. We're now into his wheel. He's going early. He's going early. That's perfect. Why is Wackerman going to the right side of the road instead of the left side? Wackerman's gonna try and get past in the last few meters, but we went way too late. Vermeer stakes it. No, it's Matthews on the line. And we're gonna get third. Could have won this. Ah, oh, I waited too long. I waited too long. Damn it. The heavy favorite won today, but I did bottle it in the final sprint. I could have done better. We eventually get a podium once again, and that makes for so many good results by this man so far in the season of 2021. Okay. Looks like it's not working on this page. That's a, that's a bummer. Next up, Trevizo. This seems to be a pretty simple sprint stage. We've got Belletti and Pacioni here. So uh, our two best sprinters on paper. Let's give it a try. How meta is this? Bice is chasing Bice. <laughs> that's not going to happen too much in this career mode. Anyway, I've set up a bit of a train. Five men trying to get over this hill. We're going to go towards the final sprint and hopefully take it home. Oh, I'm a bit blocked in with my sprinters. I don't like this at all. Hopefully I can still get out. Gonna use a sprint on Archibald right now. Corner is upcoming, so that's important to watch out for. Pacioni is gonna launch before the corner. Belletti in the wheel. Let's try and go right now with Belletti on the right side of the road. Ah, I moved to the right and I blocked myself. God damn it. I should stop using the controls. Mikel Raim wins for Mazov Shea. We've got Mareshko coming in second. Heinrich in third. And we've got Lonardi in fourth. But a top five for Belletti. Not a horrendous result, but I... Should have done much better. I could have gotten that 
top three relatively easily. The competition here is only Mareshko above our level. We should have gotten at least second here, and that's not the case. Anyway, let's wipe away the tears because the monument is coming. Milano San Remo right now. Goal is simple. Get in the break, show our sponsor, but also Wackerman will try and win this race. Albanese perhaps as well with a daily form he will likely have with a plus three RDC. Holy crap, Gavazzi with a great day as well. It's perfect. Holy crap, Rivi has a plus five on the day. Perfect day for the breakaway for him. We've got Gavazzi with a plus two. Gavazzi can protect Gavazzi. And then we've got Wackerman and Albanese, both with good days. Fetcher as well. There we go, goal number one succeeded. Rivi's in the breakaway, a minute 20 ahead of the peloton. Let's lower it towards 65 for a bit. Scully in here as well. Well, I is Gradic, Taliani. We've got Marengo and Dalla Valle. Uh, Albanese has fallen. I don't know what to do about that. Should I pull him back or should I just cut the loss and go for Wackerman? I think the gap's too large to send someone back. I'm going to try and get back though, working together with Walshide here. Gap is not too huge and it's still far from the finish line. So with a bit of luck, we might be able to get back. I've honestly been abusing Nizzolo by a long shot here in this group, but looks like it's about to work. We're about to close towards the next group and I'm going to take over with Albanese to try and close the latter part here. Let's go 90 for a tiny bit. <laughs> Sorry, needs a lot for doing that, but yeah. <laughs> I just literally spend them. Marjo's incoming, three kilometers. Sevilla still at the front. We've got the Fetter in second wheel. I'm going to up it towards 95 to get to the front before we get to the foot of the Pajo because that will be useful. 93 perhaps. Don't want to spend them fully edge, but... He's going to be spent around the moment that we get onto the Pajo, which is good. And then Fetcher is ready for the next punch. And it's Jalon Gavazzi as well. There we go. Going to wait a bit longer with that on Wackerman. We've got the Peloton a bit stretched out. Fetcher is going to take over on 93. Sivian's done for. Who's in our wheel? That's Hofstede. Where's Van Aert and such? I don't see anyone. Van Aert's down there. There we go. Going to go 99 for now. Here we go on top. Let's hammer it, let's hammer it. We're near the top. Halfway, really, to be honest. And now Gavazzi time. Let's go 99. Come on, Fetter, get out of the way. There we go. And we've got Lippens with us. I'm going to see... Oh, is it just behind this corner? I don't remember. Let's give it a go. Yeah, it's just behind this corner. Let's go on attack. On the full attack power. There we go, Gavazzi goes. Wackerman in the wheel. Duo attack. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 99 together into the descent. Wackerman for the energy gel. We've got responses by Trentin trying to close it down, but we've got a serious gap. Are we going to win Milano San Remo? There is honestly a real possibility, but Trentin's really trying to follow right now. Krieger, Chimola, Ewan. Oh my god, come on. Gavazzi, 99 it, man. 99 it. Go on to the attack. Try and drop Trentin again. We got to get rid of him. Last 2.5 kilometers, Gavazzi. Push it, push it, push it. Wackerman, perfect position to try and win Milano San Remo. Come on, come on, come on, Wackerman. Trentin versus Wackerman. We're gonna win. We're gonna win San Remo. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Eolo Cometa is gonna win Milano San Remo. We're gonna get second as well, or what? Oh my god, yes, we do. A one to win Milano San Remo. <laughs> Trentin in third. Caleb Ewan in fourth. But what a victory for us. My god. Absolutely godlike. By far the craziest win we've had so far. 1-2 as well. That's that's gold. That attack on top of the Pudge was perfect. But AI just didn't react. And the attack with the attack power bar combination is so OP these days that it's so easy to get away on the Pudge. If this doesn't get Aolo to have the budget for season two, then I don't know what will. What a performance. Oh my god, we've got it. There's one thing that's crazily amazing, and that's the fact that despite the fact that we've got only two of the five objectives, the team's super happy, the sponsor's super happy, because Sanremo and Strade Bianche were so important, yet not on the objectives that there are noteworthy results. So that's honestly amazing. I love that. They're now at full blue happiness, which is just crazy. The next train is Copia Bartali. We've got a flat stage first with a bit of uphills and downhills in there so that might spice things up. Then we've got a team time trial. Oof. It sucks that you can't see on this page whether it's a team time trial or a time trial. You gotta go back to the stages page to do so. And as you can see, it's got the icon of a team time trial. 
the third stage is a hill stage, but again, these tiny hills on the parkour, again, that will spice things up, I promise you. Fourth stage is a mountain stage to plan the Morcogno, and uh, looking forward to see what we can do here. We don't exactly have a Fortunato here, so it's going to be interesting to see if we can survive with whoever we have as our GC leader by this point. And lastly, we finish on a time trial. Okay, Archibald, this is your turn, I guess. Archibald's a bit unhappy. Time to get happy, mate. Your team just wants San Remo. It won't peak higher than this. Anyway, we're gonna start off with a flat stage. Let's freaking go for Pachoni, I guess. I'm actually taking control with a good 30 kilometers to go. Unfortunately, I don't have water with the riders at the front, but that's not too big of a deal. Gotta go 99 on top for one reason only, and that's the fact that We've got these tiny hills in the park, we're like up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's a bit of an exploit on PCM. It's because the creator of this stage didn't make it perfectly. I'm not sure whether it's a game mate stage or a uh, database mate stage, but all in all, I think that the issue with it is that on these small hills, it's easy to break up the peloton. And you'll see that, not right now, but you'll see that on one of these next hills, now it's going down, then it goes up, and then it goes down, and you'll see the group just splinter into multiple pieces, and it will probably be a positive for us. Right now you can see that we're gone with our entire team because of this, which is just a bit of a team attack, I guess. Let's go! We're going into the final four and a half kilometers, and we do have the group with us again, but we are looking good nonetheless. I'm actually gonna set up Feather on 95 as well to make sure we don't actually fuck up. There we go. I think the next corner is coming soon. Let's go 99 on Christian. Let's start sprinting with Fetter in this corner. Is that too early? Yeah, that's too early. That might be way too early even. Wackerman in the wheel still. Wackerman in the wheel still. Let's go right now. Wackerman, 1k to go. First is Maluccelli. Maluccelli. Wackerman's gonna take it. Perfect victory. The first stage of the Copia Bartali. And we take the first leader's jersey. A bit of revenge on Mikel Raim, who took a victory a bit earlier in the episode. But all in all... Looking fine at the moment. Let's take a look at the next stage. The red bar addition in this game has made it so that AI teams are just breaking apart during the team time trials. So until that's fixed, I'm afraid we're going to have to uh, simulate team time trials, which I'm not too sad about because we suck at them anyway. So it's not like we would have had a good result if I played it anyway. There we go. Elkov's taking the victory. And our team's not doing too bad. 48 seconds down on 29th position, probably thanks to the help of Archibald on this one. We do lose the leader jersey. We're now on sixth with Wackerman, but that's not too big of a deal. We can try and make our way back somehow. On to the third hill stage, and honestly, this is Wackerman territory. So if we can get him over these hills in a safe way, we can try and bring him towards a reduced bunch sprint, hopefully, on the last few kilometers. And if that works out, then hopefully a Dubsky again. We're on the final hill and attacks are going to happen, I can feel it. Two leg to the front together with Jan Barta. We've got Schlegel sitting a bit further in the group, but not too far, so he's probably safe for this one. Let's go towards 93 on Christian. Let's not block him, there we go. And a gel on him as well for a bit later. Let's try and move up. Wakerman needs to survive with Ravazzi in the wheel. That would be ideal. I'll try and do a sneaky attack with Ravazzi perhaps, while Wakerman can stay in the group for a sprint. That's what I have in mind, but for now it looks like Schlegel is behind. He's done for. Mikael Schlegel's done for. Oh my god, this is good, this is good. Can I take over with Fetter? Let's get Ravazzi in the wheel right there to make sure nobody can take my wheel. There we go, almost at the top. Now we've got a small descent to work with. Gonna have to go with Wakanam on a tiny bit, which is not ideal knowing he's actually our man for the stage. There we go. And we've got a four three-man team here at the front. Ravazzi desperately following Wackerman right here. There we go. And now that we can, I'm going to try and switch this around. There we go. But for now, we're looking good. Last three kilometers. This is descent to the line, basically. I'm going to sprint early whenever I can with Fetter. But he doesn't have too much energy, but I'll do it now. I'm going to sprint with Wackerman. There we go. Oh, they're passing me. They're passing me. How? Feder, get out of the way. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wackerman. I'm getting beaten or not. Ah, come on, Wackerman. No. E? Oh, third. I should have launched way earlier, like a kilometer earlier. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's hope we're good in GC. Come on. Let's hope that's fine, but 
I think that Vervaak is better in GC. Another podium, but GC-wise, we are now on 23 seconds in third of Christian Zbaragli. We've got Vervaak in second as well. I'm pretty sure that Vervaak is their leader for the mountain stage. I think that Wackerman's gonna be that for us. Fetter in fourth position in GC, and Avadzi with a strong ride. If he's got a plus five again, he might actually turn out to be our leader. Here we go, Piandi Mokonyo, that is the finish of today. It's not actually the steepest finish, so might generally be possible to get Wackerman to that line. Let's give it a try. This man is 76 mounted today. 77. And Avadzi's leader. We're going to throw Wackerman off board and we're going to try and go for someone else. He deserves it with a form like that. Like, he totally deserves to be leader today. We're having sneaky attacks up front. Vervaak is going. Zakarin has gone. And we've got Kreuziger currently in the lead of the race. I decided not to respond too harshly on it because... I don't think I can afford to, to be honest. It's still 22 kilometers to go. I doubt that'd be a clever move. And is Jalon Christian way too late? But Feder is still left to actually work with. So let's put him on 99 and try and split up the group a tiny bit. There we go. I'm gonna hammer it. And actually a clever tactic by, by Alpacin to send Vervaak up front with Sparagli trying to defend. Here we go. Final climb. We've got Ravazzi as leader. Wackerman in the wheel. Feder is currently leading by uh, protecting Ravadzi. Gonna switch that around in a second with Wackerman doing the work. There we go. Gonna put it to 85 because we can't afford it. Prada's with the move. Way too early, guys. How do you think you're gonna survive this? That makes no sense. And Ravadzi's gonna try and go past. Wackerman gets blocked like a madman. That's unfortunate. Let's hope he can get back and actually help out his teammate. And his gel on Ravadzi. And we're gonna try and drop people here. Four kilometers to go, steepest section upcoming, and that's where I want to push pretty damn hard. Looks like Zakarin's dropping off the back. If I can push a tiny bit hard, let's say 93 for now. Maybe I can break people. Kreuziger as well having troubles, but Ugly's dropping. There we go, Ravadzi with a monster move right now, dropping everybody on this climb. Can we take the leader's jersey in the Copia Bartali with Edward Ravadzi after this stage? I hope we can. 99 for the last kilometer. There we go, Vervaka tries to follow. We've got a deficit of 121 on the lead. We won't take the leader's jersey, but we'll close in majestically and take another stage with Ravazzi on his wonderful day. There we go. Vervaka comes in on 35 seconds. That is likely going to be the new leader of this race. We're now second and third in GC. Oh, that hurts. 32 seconds down, 39 seconds down, and we're worse T tier than Vervaka, so this won't end very well. That's our second stage when it copy a Bartali. Likely our last because the next stage doesn't really fit us. 14.5 kilometers, individual ITT. We are horrendous at time trials except for Archibald. I don't know how to write these. It's been a few days since the game is out and I hate time trials already. So uh, I guess we'll jump in and see where we end. I wonder if there's a better approach than how we did it last time. Because last time we went 99 from the start. I'm going to go ahead and just go 88 or 86 perhaps from the start and see if that's better to like spend or red wisely across the parkour but that wouldn't really make sense you know because i'd expect if you go 99 the entire way you'd spend more yellow but i don't know it's it's a mystery for everybody so i guess we're just desperately trying to figure out how this is meant to be played when it comes to the first time we have second two seconds down so this seems to be working pretty well let's hope we can keep it till the line this time around because with the 99 strategy we couldn't do that Let's give it a try. Last few meters, let's go 99. There we go. And let's see what we do. Second time, seven seconds. This seems to be a better strategy if I'm looking at it at the moment. As expected, a horrendous time trial by Wakirman. Gonna be the same for Avadzi because Vervak is basically almost catching the lad. So sad. Oh, one minute 70. We're gonna drop out of top five like this. Actually, no. We finished third and fifth in GC, which is nice. Like... 32 seconds, 34 seconds, 35 seconds. That's close. Honestly, domination by Alpacin here. A 1-2 with Vervaak and Zbaragli in GC. That's really nice. Honestly, we've done very good results so far. That Milano San Remo today was so, so good. 1-2 in that amazing result. Our first monument as a team in Season 1. Being Pro Conti. Amazing. Second in Strade. Winning Mallorca. Second in Almeria. Third in Copia Bartali. So many consistent results with the team and let's hope it continues. On the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Giro di Sicilia with a finish on the Etna on stage four. So 
Very much looking forward to that. We've got GP Del Navarra. We've also got the GP Primavera before we get to the Tour of the Alps, which is also very mountainous. Looking forward to that one. Great parkour. And uh, then I guess we're going to be finishing it off the episode with Velta Asturias that I apparently didn't plan on any rider yet. So still need to do that. All this will be in preparation for uh, whatever happens on episode 5 of the series, which is the start of the Giro d'Italia with the dream of getting a few stage wins, trying to go for KOM with Fortunato. That is kind of the goal I have for it right now, and I'm very much looking forward to it. If you enjoyed today's episode, and tap that like button. If you didn't tell me what's wrong, I'll try and make it better for you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.